What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with more of the Pokemon Violet Indigo Disc Let's Play. In the last episode, we explored a bit more of the Savannah biome and the Coastal biome, took a quick class, and battled our old friend Carmine from the Teal Mask DLC, which was a bit of a struggle, but we got through it in the end. And also we met up with Drayden, one of the members of the BB League's Elite Four, and apparently now we're supposed to have a cafeteria date with him to discuss details about the League and the Club. That we're in on a so-called trial basis. So, we actually go to the gate to actually do the fast travel. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the cafeteria. Let's talk to Drayden right now. Hey, Drayden, what's up? Hey, Daniel. You don't need to stand there. Grab a seat. I shall. Here's the Drayster take. He's still going with the Drayster. Oh my god. The Academy Special is the best thing on the menu. I love how I already have a drink with me. You know, chocolate spice chai tea, my usual coffee shop go to. Little fun fact. It's all so soft, you can basically just gulp it down. Barely even need to chew. Chew your food, Drayton. <laughs> Please, I don't want you to choke and die, buddy. <laughs> you and my mom will get along. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild? Not really, I'm the main character. An exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown? I want to see you join the BB League, Daniel. You in? Sure, I'll... Apparently I'm getting cut off either way. Look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Ooh, boy. Whoa, it's the champion! And the rest of the Elite Four, too! What did you want to talk to me about? Nothing special. Just thought we could grab a bite. Where better to do that than the cafeteria? What a waste of time. If you've got so much time to goof off, why don't you go train your Pokemon? You think maybe this is why you always lose to me? Jeez, Karen. I'll take that as a no. So I can't swing a lunch date with you even if I've got your old pal with me? Daniel! Long time no see. Trying to be cordial, trying to be cordial. But why? You didn't hear that he was coming to study abroad here? For real? Yes, it's true. Director Cyrano himself introduced him to me when we met at the school's entrance. We're already tight, us two. In fact, I was just asking Daniel to join the BB League. Ooh, I like it. That'd be fire. What? A student from another school joining the BB League? Unprecedented. Th that's right! Daniel may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean he belongs in the BB League. Well, I'd like to prove you wrong, lady. Oh, come on. Do you all hate fun and friendship or something? Hey, those are the cornerstones of anime. Come on, guys. You want to exclude someone who's taking our same classes and living in our same dorms? How is he not one of us? And isn't this place supposed to be all about students having autonomy? I think we should vote on it. I'm a yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no for me. Aw. What about you, Crispin? Huh? Yeah, why not? He's at our school. That makes him a student like us, right? How about you, Amaris? 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 I'm gonna go back and forth on that. I'm so sorry. I'll settle on a pronunciation one of these times. What do you say? I abide by the rules of this institution. Proposition declined. Two against two, huh? All right then. What says the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? I have a feeling he's gonna say no. Because he doesn't want the threat of me usurping him and proving I'm stronger than him yet again. It doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Ooh. Well, fuck me, I guess. Heh. <laughs> guess we've got our answer. 
Kieran, wait! Trayden, manipulating people to get what you want, it, it's just not right! Also, can I just say that Crispin really gives me Envy vibes? Sorry, Daniel. Guess you'll be joining the BB League, huh? Well, let's look on the bright side. Maybe you and Karen will come out of this better friends. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you, every step of the way. But now that the decision's been made, we better get you officially signed up. Maybe you're at the reception desk at the school's entrance area. Will do. There you are. This is where we can get you signed up for the BB League. All right, let's do it. How can I help you today? Uh, I would like to join the league, please. Ah, it says here that you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Oh, don't mind that. We Elite Four talked it over real quick. My friend here is good to join. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if I can take what you say at face value, Drayton. Yeah, do the Elite Four actually have any real power here in the school administration? Because I don't feel like that's how that works. Okay, imagine the student body president could just say, yeah, you know, just, just give them give them this, you know, important job. It's fine. No, he's telling the truth. I'm allowing Daniel to join the BB League. Yes, champion. One moment, please. Wow, all right. Fuck me, then. Twice today. <laughs> Didn't expect you to ride up in shining armor and save the day. I've got a feeling you're trying to play Puppet Master. But if I get a shot at battling Daniel, then that's fine with me. Heh, <laughs> that's just peachy. Daniel. You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. Like I'd lose. Good. I'm not a little kid anymore. Yeah, it's been like three whole months. I tied my hair back and everything. And you'll know it when I show you how the best of the best battle. Kiki, you shouldn't talk to Daniel like that. Shut it, sis. Whew. Looking forward to seeing you climb the ranks. So you can knock me back down the mountain, right? Oh, I should have followed up with that kind of line. I'm sorry, Daniel. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? That was my first time talking to him in a while, too. Man, such an attitude. Well, he's Mr. Big Deal Mighty Champion, after all. Trayton, you're the one who dragged Daniel into all this BB League drama, aren't you? Me? No way. This was all his idea. I mean, it's like half correct. <laughs> no doubt about it. Hear that, Carmine? He's hungry for action. Oh, Drayton, you absolute goof. I don't know. I think something fishy's going on. But, well, if you're going to do this, you may as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. And please, keep an eye on Kiki for me. I'll try. Thank you for waiting. Your entry into the BB League is complete. Great timing. Yeah, it only took one entire dramatic conversation. Usually, you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks. But seeing as how you've got recommendations from several Elite Four members and Director Cyrano, you'll start from a higher rank. Ooh? You'll skip straight to challenging the Elite Four at their respective bases in the Terrarium. Once you clear their trials, that is. I'll go ahead and mark their locations in your Rotom phone now. Sick. All right, so now we know where everybody is and what their types are. Drayton is Dragon. Obviously, that was kind of in the name. Lacey is a Fairy-type user. Okay. Amaris is Steel-type. Kind of got that vibe from her design. Crispin's Fire. I think that was even more obvious. But, you know, even though only their types isn't necessarily going to clue me into their strategies at all. 
To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn by doing BBQs. Those I've been doing off screen, actually. Uh, I don't know how many I need for each individual Elite Four member, but, you know, obviously, I've been kind of doing that off screen in between episodes, just kind of hanging around the uh, savannah and coastal biomes, just, uh, you know, doing stuff, because it's really simple things like sneak up on a Pokemon, catch a Pokemon, take a Pokemon photo of a Pokemon who's swimming. They really want you to do that one a lot. Uh, but yeah, I do have some BP. I think I'm like just under a thousand right now. Then, if you defeat all the members of the Elite Four, you can challenge the champion. Alright then, best of luck in the BB League! You could start with whichever one of us you want. Your call. Anytime you want to battle one of us, you'll have to do a fun little trial we cooked up first. Sounds good, right? Yeah, sounds very Orange Islands-esque. Catch you in the terrarium, bud! You know, it might not be a bad idea to look over each of these uh, in their descriptions and see uh, kind of what's what with these Elite Four members. Kind of see who I want to fight first. So Crispin of the Elite Four, BB League rank number 5. Cooks up amazing, super spicy dishes with his fire Pokémon. Still relatively new to battling, but fights tenaciously with natural talent. Not the most gifted student, from Verbank City in Unova. Interesting. Alright, what about Lacey? Lacey of the Elite Four, BB League rank number 3. This hard worker only catches Pokemon she finds cute, so she naturally became a masterful trainer of fairy types. She's beloved by her fellow students, from Nimbasa City in Unova. Wait, I'm trying to remember, who is the gym leader in Nimbasa? Hang on. Oh, that was Elisa! Oh! Didn't Cyrano mention that uh, her dad was a gym leader? Okay, absolute irresponsible speculation time. Could she potentially be the daughter of both Clay and Elisa? Considering she used an Excadrill and two Electric types in her battle initially against May. I don't know. Tell me how, tell me how off base I am in the comments below. Anyway, let's check out Amaris. In the Canyon Plaza, BB League rank 4. Has trained Pokemon since she could walk and talk, direct steel Pokemon precisely to calmly corner opponents. She's also student council president from Castellia City in Unova. Ooh, neat. And finally, our boy Drayton of the Elite Four, BB League rank number two. A very capable trainer of dragon types who firmly believes in having fun at all times. He's constantly tired during the day, but stays up late lazing around anyway. From Abelucid City in Unova. Yo, considering that the Savannah biome was the one I was most familiar with, considering it's the first biome you step into in the Terrarium, I was just gonna go with Crispin initially anyway. But considering that Crispin is League Rank number 5, I think I kinda just wanna go in order of their rank to eventually build up to Kirin, so... Yeah, there we go. I guess we're gonna, you know, we're gonna fight Crispin first. Fuck it. Let's rock and roll. Alright, and we're here at the Savannah Plaza. Talk to you for the Elite Trial? Done. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza! We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're... Daniel, right? One of the BB League challengers? That's my name. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Okay, so that's fairly cheap. That's fine. Easily get that with a couple of missions later. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Hey, Crispin! An order's just come in for you! Coming right up! Oh, hey! I saw you in the cafeteria! You're Daniel, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping! I feel like I'm cooking at a nice simmer over here! But we gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me! Oh, a mag mortar. Spoilers for one of your team members. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school? Now that's lit! No wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial is no cakewalk. My Elite Trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich! And I mean super spicy! I want something so hot it'll have me breathing flames! Yeah, you're starting to sound like Jury from World Tour in Street Fighter 6. Like, 
she mockingly asks the player if we're gonna go out for a date and like no way we're getting into that sweet crap she wants something damagingly spicy i know what you're thinking that sounds easy right but you can't use your own ingredients oh you have to negotiate with league club members around here to get what you need once you think you have all the right ingredients come back and talk to me then i'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes oh god this is gonna be like hell's kitchen isn't it five minutes Oh, no, no, no. Lamb bass, I want it fucking four minutes. I, yes, I'm not doing it as you please, Jeff. Yes, if yes. I had to listen to you all night long, no one would get served. The key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, cooking, super easy. <laughs> uh, sure. Fuck it, why not? Let's rock and roll. Sweet! Give me a hot minute to get everything set up. First things first, negotiate with the League Club members to get some ingredients. You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. So cold ingredients, got it. <laughs> Once you've got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, come give me a holler. Alright then, let's start this now! Alright, let's do it. I'm assuming negotiate for the ingredients basically is just a, you know, a code for battle these people. Beat me for potato salad? Nah. Marmalade and mustard. Jalapeno. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I'm in a fine pickle I am. I'm missing two whole ingredients. Listen, I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you give me some prosciutto and olive oil. Oh, it's just not battling? Oh, I don't have olive oil? I'm almost entirely certain I have prosciutto. Okay, so this is not just battling. There actually is some bartering going on here. Um, who has prosciutto and olive oil? Three ingredients if you give me something. Okay, what do you need? Oh, you... Okay, so I do... I do need to beat that girl for the potato salad. Alright, get over here, you nerd. All right, Julianne. Ah, uh, like Julianne potatoes. Isn't it like a, a way you can prepare potatoes? I feel like it is. All right, so, uh, Whimsicott, you are not going to be out here for very long. It's just going to be a tailwind. And Marceline, you are going to Stealth Rock. Now, obviously, I can't Earthquake the Electros because it has Levitate as its ability. So, you know, that's a bit awkward. Also... Was Stealth Rock even the right move? How many Pokemon does she have? I may not have thought this through very well. TBH. Oh god, Overheat. Well, I was right about Summer not being there very long. Sorry. Anyway, let's get Yuto out here. Oh, she only has two Pokemon, so uh, the Stealth Rock was a complete waste. Great. <laughs> All right, you know what we do? Immediate Grass Terra into Bulk Up. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Oh, no, wait, no, that's fine. Yeah, because we'll we'll still be immune to the Fire-type attacks thanks to Flash Fire, and then we can Bulk Up, and we can start doing shit. Meanwhile, Marceline, I think... Oh, God, I just realized how weak this team is to Fire. I have such a fucking strong Fire weakness, it is not even funny. Yeah, I think Marceline just protects here. We can start doing the Protect Earthquake strat at some other point. The good thing about Yuto being grass now, it should also resist Electros's stab electric moves. Not to mention, it should resist um, camera ups, ground type stuff as well. So, yeah. Marcy was going to be immune to that anyway, but. You know. 
Oh, the freaking paralysis immediately. I don't remember what the ratio is for paralysis on um discharge, but you know. Yep, there's the levitate. Okay, so Yuto is going to attempt to bitter blade the electros. So we're gonna toxic this camera up. There we go. So now I just have to live longer than you. Ooh, almost. Just about. I also noticed that a lot of my Pokemon are up to level 70. That was just something that happened because of uh, a bit of grinding I did off screen. So, you know, getting a little closer to where I probably should be. <laughs> I imagine I might, you know, after I see what Crispin's dealing with, I imagine I might just end up, um, you know, giving a few, um, freaking, uh, rare candies to the team here, just to get them up to 75. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's something I probably should do. Anyway, the Electros is down. That's good. So it's just camera up against all of my mods. Hey, Cinnamon Roll leveled up. Ha! No. I say no to you, camera up. Yeah, so again, I just have to live longer than you. Let's see here. Yuto, I would like to Shadow Sneak. I think we'll use uh, Marceline's turn to Paralyze Heal Yuto. Just so I don't get full para at any point. There's the Shadow Sneak. All right, fair bit of damage, fair bit of damage. Ha! Stone Mist comes into play, love it. Yeah, this next Shadow Sneak is definitely gonna kill, GG's. Give me that potato salad. God, also, I was just thinking, imagine if Poison Heal, like, doubled the amount of uh, HP you got back every single turn if you badly poison yourself with a Toxic Orb. God, that'd be so busted. Yes, I can hear the voice of the Potato Salad speaking to me now. Lady, if you're hearing Potato Salad speak to you, I think you need to see someone about that. That's, that's, not, that's not a thing that happens normally. I'm a little concerned. Okay, now, who wanted the Potato Salad? Was it you? Yeah, it was you. All right, three ingredients for potato salad. Hell yeah. Let's see. Onion, cucumber, and... Okay, we got the prosciutto, but we still need the olive oil. From somebody else. You want mayonnaise, or do you have mayonnaise? Oh, okay, so we get mayonnaise for beating you. Okay, hang on. I have, to, I have to make sure that my team is actually ready for this. No, that was the... I guess I can't check my party. Okay, I have to assume they were healed between battles. It's May on now. Okay, you know what? I'm going to beat you just for that terrible pun. It wasn't even a good pun. You're absolutely getting destroyed, Carmella. Oh, the double Pyroar. Alright, remember. They only have two Pokemon, Daniel. So Stealth Rock is going to be a waste of a turn. Also, I should probably U-turn immediately. Um, let's go with an Earthquake. We go with an Earthquake, bring in our Dorothy. Because she has the Air Balloon. Special attack harshly fell. That's fine with me. I'm just realizing my mistake. A, 
And the air balloon popped. Okay, so I have not thought this through very well at all. <laughs> is what you're telling me. Sorry, our Dorothy. You somehow didn't think, hey, one of them might be aiming for Whimsicott's spot. All right, you two get in here. You have flash fire. You're immune to their fire stab. It's fine. But thankfully, it also restores my terror orb in between battles, so that's convenient. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna have to bitter blade. We're just gonna have to bitter blade and an earthquake again because by the time I go grass terror, I'll resist it. So it should be fine. Oh, yawn. Well, hopefully it's not gonna matter in about two seconds. Ooh, Marceline hanging in there. There we go. Nice. And now give me that mayonnaise, and please don't give me any more terrible mayonnaise puns. That's it, I'm taking your lunch money, fuck you. <laughs> that was terrible, come on. All right, who's next, who's next? Uh, I'm assuming you have uh, marmalade and mustard, jalapeno, you wanted olive oil as well, I still need olive oil. All right, uh, what answer do you want? A trivia question. What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Isn't that mayonnaise? Yeah. Five-star knowledge of mayonnaise, apparently. Hey, there's the olive oil. Sick. Hey, give me that jalapeno, idiot. There we go. Get the jalapeno. Did I get eggs? Apparently I did. Sick. Got my chorizo. Marmalade and mustard. Um. Yeah, mustard would be spicier than marmalade, right? Surely. Let me check my ingredients real quick. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't give you, like, an item description? Oh, that stinks. I feel like jalapeno, chorizo, and mustard would be a pretty good combo. Let me double check here. Oh, wait, no, chili sauce. I need the chili sauce. That'll be spicy. Surely. Surely the chili sauce would be the right one. Okay, I'm saying chili sauce, chorizo, and jalapeno are the right ones. I can tell you're cooking on high heat. Looking forward to something extra spicy then. Yeah, me too. Hopefully I'm not wrong about this. Jalapeno, chorizo, and chili sauce. Ah, oh, the bag border pick. Oh, that's cute. Right, let's see. Chorizo. Chorizo. Chorizo, jalapeno, 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 and top bun, and mag mortar pick, done. Oh, don't even tell me that's a failure screen. That better just be because of the taste. Ugh. Jesus. Hey, you said spicy, not good. What? Okay, in what universe? All right. I thought chorizo was like the spicy meat. I literally have to start the whole trial again? Are you joking? Oh my fucking god. Alright, yo, I'm just gonna cut to when I have the proper ingredients. Hang on. I'm gonna double check around here, see if anybody else is around that I didn't initially see. I feel like the chili sauce was still the play. 
Oh, there's somebody hiding behind a rock here. What's up, bro? More jalapenos. That could help. You know what? I'll just buy them. Give me the jalapenos, bro. Why battle when you can buy instead, eh? I like the way you think. Exactly. I'm not working harder. I'm working smarter. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Just stack this with ingredients. I'm going to stack it with the chili sauce. I'm going to go with the jalapenos. The double jalapenos. The chorizo. I'm going to try with the mustard as well. Just double sauce it. Not the mayonnaise. That's cold. So we're going to go... Two jalapeno, chorizo, mustard, chili sauce. We're going to see how that gets me along. All right, let's try this again. All right, surely this is the sandwich this time. I mean, how can you resist the spiciness of this sandwich? Look at the chorizo. It's so spicy, it's clipping through the bread. There it is. Yeah, it's gonna destroy your digestive tract for days, buddy. There's no way that's not spicy enough. I can tell the spicy souls of the world all agree with me. You put spicy ingredients to good use. Me? I could have handled something a bit spicier, really, but it was still good. Hey, as long as I pass the trial, that's all I care about. And that means you pass my elite trial. No problem at all. Yeah, definitely didn't have to do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I'm going to enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Oh god, do we just go right into the battle? I don't even get time to level up my mons a little bit? Well, fuck me. Alright. Well, that wraps up the trial, so now it's time to face me in an elite battle. You all prepped and ready to take me on? Uh, no, actually, I'd like to get up to level 75 first. Don't worry, I get it. Battles are like meals. The best ones take the most prep work. True. Okay, real quick, gonna shove a bunch of rare candies into my Pokemon's mouth. BRB. Okay, everybody's level 75 now, except for Samra being at 100. And I think we're actually gonna start off with Yuto and Marceline. So we can get Stealth Rock set up, because I'm sure you have more than two Pokemon. And Yuto will just immediately grass Terra. Just to get that all set up. And so I think, I think now we're going to be okay. Let's do it. Coming right up. Watch out because I'm cranking up the heat. Oh boy. So, Daniel. I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran, huh? Is this really the time? Like, is this really the time to be going into that? <laughs> it sure seems like Drayton's cooking up something fishy, too. Gah! Everything's getting so complicated! Can't you all just get over yourselves? <laughs> Most reasonable NPC, TBH. If you want to say something, just say it! If you want to do something, just do it! I'm not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in this here Savannah biome. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. Ah, oh, it's a sick animation. All right, it's time to take on Crispin of the BB Elite Four, starting with Rotom Heat and Talonflame. All right, let's go. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. I mean, for you, would that be the same thing? Also, I might not want to go Grass Terra immediately, just because that would make me uh, weak to Talonflame's flying moves. Which, as long as it has freaking... Uh, Full HP, get priority thanks to Gale Wing, so, you know, that's annoying. I really go bulk up on Yuto, and then we are going to... We're going to protect on Marceline first turn, just to check intentions. And then get Toxic Heal, or uh, Poison Heal, rather, set up. Ooh, Sunny Day for the Fire-type boost. Yeah, it doesn't affect either of us. 
Because Yuto has Flash Fire and Marceline protected. So that overheat's not going to do anything to Yuto at all. Unless you have some way to suppress my ability. And thankfully now Marceline can't be burned. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so... I think... We Shadow Sneak just to get rid of Gale Wings on Talonflame. And then we'll set up the Stealth Rock on the other side of the field. All right, plus one Shadow Sneak. Not bad, not bad. Almost half. Oh, and you're going to... Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. I didn't want you to get super effective uh, type advantage on Yuto. With the Grass Terra, that's a big overheat. All right, there's a Stealth Rock. Cool, cool, cool. It's a pretty good battle theme, by the way. You know what I wish they'd done, though? I wish that they had done a remix, like, you know, because they had do, because they had done, like, so many other remixes of, you know, the battle themes. I wish they had done a remix of the Elite Four battle theme for this. That would have been so perfect. I love the Elite Four battle theme from, you know, but it's legitimately, it's legitimately, if I can learn to talk, that's how excited I am about it. It's legitimately my favorite Elite Four battle theme of the entire series is the, you know, the one. All right, so Marceline's going to protect again. Just to get a little bit of poison heal, healing back. Hopefully the Shadow Sneak kills, and it does. Nice. So as long as you don't have any other fire flying types, I should be good to go Grass Terror next turn. There's the Overheat. You're silly. Yep, Marceline's going to heal. Very nice. Executor. Oh, this is going to be for, like... Turn one solar beams with a sunny day. I see. I get ya. Alright, now the town flame's gone. We can very safely go grass terra, I think. Go for the bitter blade on Executor. And then because I'll be grass terra, I'll resist the earthquake. So I should Oh wait, no, World Time has Levitate. World Time has Levitate, Daniel. You can't do that. Alright, so I think instead we toxic the Rotom. Yeah, Rotom would be immune because of Levitate, and then uh, Executor just resisted, so that's just not a smart idea in any way. Like, the Grass Resistance is the reason you felt comfortable doing it with Yuto on the field. So, you gotta keep that in mind. Hey, we just dodged it. Sick. There's a Toxic on the Rotom. And Bitter Blade on Executor. This should kill. Nice. God, you're really good at douse our flames if you keep using moves like that. I mean, yeah, that's the point. I want to win. <laughs> I want to win. That's what I'm here for. All right, what's Pokemon number four? Oh, camera opt. Oh, boy. At least he loses some health due to the Stealth Rocks. I love Stealth Rocks. It's my favorite entry hazard. Okay, so I think... I'll bulk up with Yuto again. And I know Rotom's going to be immune to it, but the camera up is not, which is the important thing. Ooh, jeez. Alright, so as long as Marceline lives... Good. I was about to say, hopefully you're at least faster than a camera up. Is this a very fast build for uh, this Gliscor? Also, I didn't do... Oh, that was a crit as well. Huh? Wait, what happened? Where all that damage come from? Me when I get crit and ranked ladder. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, Gliscor, I went with a slightly more specially defensive build, so the defenses are a bit more spread, so the physical defenses aren't as high as it could be. Hey, thanks for the fire type boost, nerd. Hey, and Marceline dodged it. Sick. Love that. And the Harsh Shud Light's gone. That does lower the power of my Bitter Blade, but you know what? I'll take the trade off, considering I just got the Flash Fire boost. It's totally fine. Let's see. I'm going to Shadow Sneak the camera up. Now that we're plus two on bulk up, Marceline's going to protect just to get a little bit more health back. And this should be fine. Bonk. I 
There we go. Potentially really problematic Pokemon out of the way. Ooh, Rotom's gonna use Hex. You've had that the whole time, and I've been poisoned since turn one. I don't know what you took so long to do that for. All right, Poison Heal. Heals again. Sick. Oh, here's the Magmortar. Taking a quarter damage tank to the Stealth Rocks. All right, so there's Rotom, Magmortar, and one more in the back. I thought Magmortar would have been your ace, because that's, uh, that's what you had with you. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, well. Um... So, let's... Yo, let's protect on Yuto, just because I'm afraid this Magmortar might have some weird coverage move, and also I don't want it to take any Earthquake damage. Yeah, here's the Hex. Alright, come on, Marceline. It's not Stab, it's not Stab. Oh yeah, that did nothing, dude. That did nothing. The investment in the Special Defense, totally worth. Yep, Yuto's protected. And then it doesn't affect Rotom, thanks to Levitate. Ooh, almost. Shadow Sneak does kill. Shadow Sneak definitely kills Magmortar. So that should be totally fine. And then Marceline can just protect to get a little more health back from Poison Heal. And then it's just down to whatever your ace is. And Rotom, obviously, but Rotom's as good as dead with the poison on it, so... And here I was worried about how much fire weakness my team has. I just had to play it a little bit smarter. Oh, Flame Body, you're no fun. I guess I should have realized that it was probably going to have Flame Body, but still. Oh, now you can use Hex on Yuto as well. Still did barely anything. Okay, Blaze again. Oh, boy. Right, so... I think Yuto is just going to protect. And then Marceline will Toxic the Blaze again. Oh boy, what's this Terra going to be? Is it going to be Terra Fire? Or is it going to be Terra Fighting? To get rid of the fire weaknesses, I wonder. Nope, Terra Fire. Okay, so they're just going to Terrastalize to whatever their uh, type specialty is. Okay, makes sense. I mean, I'm still immune to your Fire Stab, with Yuto at least. There's the Hex on Marceline. I imagine this Blaze again has Speed Boost, so that's going to be awkward. Thankfully, it's Poison now. So now, it's just a matter of surviving eight turns at most. Hope you're hungry, because Crispin's Flaming Hot Special is coming right at you! No, I'll just take a dessert, thank you. Temper Flare? Ooh! That did a lot. I don't know what that does, though, but it did a lot. I wonder if, that, if that's like a move that does like more damage based on a certain thing. I imagine it would. So yeah, Marceline is definitely protecting next turn, for sure. I know, I'm plus two in attack. Yep, it has speed boost. It has speed boost, I was right. Um, now I'm wondering, I'm plus two in attack, but I am burned, so that basically kind of evens out. So it should do like, kind of standard damage. I'm gonna try and go for another bulk up. I'm gonna bulk up with Yuto, and then Marceline's just gonna protect. We'll check intentions, get my defenses higher a little bit, because I still don't know what Temper Flare does, and I don't wanna risk it. Yeah, you were going for the kill shot on Marceline. You were going for that kill shot. Again, I just have to make sure the team doesn't fully die by the time this Toxic gets rid of the Blaze again. Yeah, if there's a speed boost again, fine, fine, fine. I mean, it's not fine, but, you know, it's something I have to accept. Um... Marsley, I imagine, is probably going to die from Tepper Flare here, so... But I'm going to be cheeky, go for the Double Protect. Nope, didn't get it. Did not get it. I rolled the dice and it came up Snake Eyes. Alright, big damage on the Shadow Sneak. I was kind of hoping you would have done it to Yuto. If you had just been less than intelligent for like five seconds... 
Oh well. You did your job, Marceline. The place against on a timer. Oh, and the sunlight's gone. Yeah, just in time, right? <laughs> Alright, it's fine. We want to we want to get through one more turn. It's fine. Literally, I just have to get through one more turn. Like, I feel like Shadow Sneak at this point is going to freaking I feel like Shadow Sneak at this point is going to kill. Okay, so we bring out our Dorothy. We protect. Just because I'm sure you'll want a temper flare. And then we shadow sneak. And hopefully kill. Like, even if shadow sneak doesn't kill, the poison will. Like, this is in the bag. This is totally in the bag, dude. There's no way it's not. Yep. Alright. Didn't even need the protect strat. Didn't even need the rest of the poison. But you know what? It certainly helped. Nice. And that's Christmas of the Elite Four in the books. I wanted to win, but I lost. Hey, 12,000, let's go. Also, does anyone else think this like victory theme is kind of reminiscent of the the victory theme you get when you beat someone in the uh in the single player stuff in a Pokemon Stadium, like after a trainer battle. I know it's not the exact same, but it's like reminiscent. Woo, that was amazing. We cranked the heat all the way up, eh, Daniel? I love battles and I love cooking because they're both so easy to understand. Um, are you sure about that, or am I just stupid? <laughs> in battles, you either win or you lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood in the League Club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could get back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, did mean to douse the flames there. You were real strong, Daniel. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. Ah, sweet. Post-battle snack. Love it. Nice. Here, I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. Tamper Flare. Okay, maybe I'll finally figure out what it does. Spurred by desperation, the user attacks the target. This move's power is doubled if you... Oh, okay. So it's like Stomp a Tantrum, but fire type. I gotcha. I've got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is, crank up the heat all you want in the BB League, Daniel. I'll do my best. Oh, Mag Mortar, you're trying your best, and I appreciate you for that. <laughs> oh, hey, Drayton. Yo, champ in the making. That's one Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to all chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are, too, in his own way. You just might be the one we need to shake things up in the Elite Club. That's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite Three. One of which is you. Hell yeah, lots of Pokedex updates. I've seen some new Pokemon for sure. And surely I'll see some more in the next episode of the Pokemon Violet Indigo Disc DLC playthrough. Because, who oh boy, that was intense. And I feel like I need a break after that battle. So thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Give it a like if you liked it. Uh, leave a comment down below answering the comment question of the day. Here it is on screen because I didn't come up with it during the actual episode. Boom. There you go. Give that an answer down below. Subscribe for more in the future. And yeah, I'll see you later. Oh, and obviously, you know, make sure you have something cold to kind of chase the spiciness if you're eating spicy food. Don't drink water. That's just going to spread around the stuff on your tongue that makes it spicy. Drink milk. Trust me. The proteins help.